Yeah. How heavy is that bow you're carrying? 100 pounds. No, how, how heavy is it really? I'm, I'm, I'm stronger than I look. No, it's 18, basically. Camera's running. Let's work on your camera mount too a little bit. Rolling, is that a good turn? You can look, looks like we're rolling. What are you going, up, up or down? Up. Seems like that should be good. Yeah. You know. You're looking great.
Did a nice job steering the light. Okay, see you getting the hang of it. You guys are doing really good on those. You can hardly lose any speed at all.
Remember to work on your breathing, everybody. Work on breathing all the way out and breathing all the way in. Do that a couple times. Make sure you're not breathing, you know, too shallow. That'll help you. Tried that baler lately? See if it got good work. So you're not sure if it works or not? Okay. Well, it won't drain right away. It'll take a minute or two. As long as it's leaving and not coming in. You also might want to come up with some kind of a code for when you want to pick it up. You know, if you just announce, uh, hey, let's pick it up a little bit, you know, you don't want the team you're passing to know. So maybe, uh, I don't know, something, anything. 
My uncle and I used to uh, use the word Daniel. My uncle's nickname was Daniel Boone. So anytime we used any thing in a sentence that used Daniel, that meant in the next whatever 10 seconds, get ready to put in a sprint. So, you know, you gotta be kind of clever like that. Too. Going. There you go. Reverse psychology. How about this one? Hey, was that a skinny dipper on the left? <laughs> How much did they win by? No, oh, you beat them? Okay. Okay, they're going to have you in their sights then. This year. Basically, your technique is looking good. You know, remember, once the paddle's in the water, try not to bend any elbow. Whatever angle your elbow is at, kind of lock it in. Are your arms getting sore when you paddle, or do you feel alright? How about you, sir? Good? Does it look like a bend a lot? Not really. Well, you have a lot of leverage, so. Guys with longer arms tend to. Keep the bends are arm tight a little bit. You almost have to match up with the guys with shorter arms. So. You know, just think about kind of lifting your butt off your seat. You know, drive down. It's not really about pulling back. That's the secondary motion. You want to kind of feel like just driving down. Just that little extra. Thinking will make the boat go just two minutes an hour faster. And that's all it takes. Now I saw you guys practice some starts. How many of those have you done? Quite a few or just Okay. Well, that plus interval training is going to be good. Like, like I'll, I'll, I'll call it. I see that dock coming up. When we get a little closer, everybody needs to pick it up. You know, paddle about 20% harder. That's called, you know, you know, you guys know intervals, right? Yeah. So, you know, nice cruise like this is good, but when it comes right down to it. That top end speed is what's going to win the race. But you only need 20, 30 second interval practice. You know, that's going to be enough for you guys. And then, really, by, I don't know when your last practice is, but probably Tuesday would be the last time you need to do anything stress stressful. Because you want your body to kind of taper. You don't want to have your body. Having to recover, so okay. See that first little dock. So why don't you go ahead and what do you want to say, Hamilton? There's Hamilton, guys. Hamilton. Okay, pick it up. Remember to breathe and relax. 
guarantee you guys went two miles an hour faster. Right? That's 12 minutes an hour. So just kind of think about that. You can't keep it up for a whole hour, but... 